Okay, in this video I'm just going to finish up um, the... We're not going to actually finish the calculate function. That's going to take uh, another video. But in this one I just... We got to a point where we calculated the monthly payment. I just want to display all of that information to the user. So we're going to display that information and then we'll start the next video creating the table. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this done. So uh, watch the end of the video so it explains this line here. So right now what I want to do is declare the info variable which is going to store all the HTML code for the table that's going to display all the uh, the, in the loan information. So uh, let's get started. With this, what I'm doing is I'm creating this gigantic string and it's going to basically be all of the HTML code. So this plus equal sign means take the variable info and append on the this string and then we're just going to keep appending on more and more into the variable info until it contains the entire HTML table. Okay, if it doesn't make sense, hopefully after a few lines it will. So we got table with uh, let's do 250. I may make that I might make that a little bit bigger. I'm not sure yet. All right, so now I've I've opened the table. Now let's start with the first row. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, all right. Sell loan amount. All right. Notice that I'm doing all of these in one line, or like I'll do one cell, then I'll do the next cell, and so on. Uh, otherwise, you can do all of this in like one long line. It's just I don't really want to. Okay, so now we have T the align. All right, I'm going to align this to the right. All right, and then we're going to have Okay, so we're going to have our loan amount, and then the cell next to it is going to be what the loan amount was. Now, that was stored in the variable loan amount. Okay. Close the row. Okay. Now, the thing is, though, is right now I am in HTML. Okay, this, this is the HTML code for the, the table cell, and this is the variable loan amount. Now, I need to break out of the HTML to access the JavaScript variable loan amount. So what you do is you close the quote or yeah, close the quotation. Now we're technically in JavaScript, so we're going to append on the loan amount. So that's what the plus signs for. After you display the loan amount variable, we're going to append on the remaining part of the HTML which is right here. Okay. And that's how you actually that's how we're going to do all the JavaScript variables is going to, we're going to have this plus the variable plus again and then the rest of the HTML. Okay, so that was for the loan amount. Now we're just going to do that a couple more times for the interest rate, number of months and so on. Okay, so next would be um now we'll just say num Okay, yeah, num of months. Let's see if that works. And then down here, it will be, I think uh, it's just months. Okay. Uh, what next? Then we had the interest rate. So interest rate. Okay. The monthly payment. Okay, now this monthly payment was it's stored under the variable monthly payment, and that's fine. But remember that I want to round this, so just throw the round function around it. So round, and then how many decimals you want to round it to, which is two decimals. Okay. Then I want uh, the extra monthly payment. So I'm going to say extra. Now I'll just say plus extra and 
that's just this. Okay. Almost there. The last one is I want is the total monthly payment. Okay, because it's going to be the monthly payment, but if you make a little bit extra, I do want to also say what that is. So the total, I'll just say total payment. And I'm going to do round okay, monthly payment plus extra to two decimals. Okay, that should do it. And now all of that stored, all of this, all of this table is stored in the um, variable info. And then that's going to be sent over to the div that has the idea of loan info. Okay. So I think we're ready to go, uh, unless I have a spelling mistake, or if I'll find an error in a second if it doesn't work. So we'll save that, and let's go check it out. All right, so we got 180,000. So again, the monthly inf uh, monthly payment should be 1,079. Calculate. So does not work. Let's go find out why. Okay, and it was not working, and after probably a half hour, which I'm kind of embarrassed to say, you know, it's still not working. So when you go back to the code, by the way, I had to enter in this uh, table, which wasn't the error, but I didn't enter it in yet, so I've already done that. The error is because I did, and I mentioned this, probably going to misspell something, and I did. I'm not sure if you caught it, but it's kind of hard to tell info and then down here I wrote in two those are T's all of those should be F's now I haven't checked to see if this was what was causing the problem but it clearly is a problem so let's go find out now if this is gonna work okay and it does so let's see here we got number of months I want to put a percentage sign here uh, let's put some dollar signs on these things. So after that, we should be good. So let's see. Interest rate. And then we'll put some dollar signs up here on loan amount. Monthly payment extra. Okay. Make sure you put those dollar signs inside the uh, quotation marks for the HTML. Um, but let's we should be good to go. Let's check it one more time before we finish. There we go. So it looks like it's good. Now let's, let's do like an extra value of like 60. Does it work? It does. So everything works out. Um, well, that was, that was a pain. I, you obviously weren't here watching me for a half hour trying to find that one spelling mistake, but it was kind of a pain. Anyways, it should work out just fine. Uh, so we'll start the next video doing the the header, and then we'll finish up fin uh, doing the amortization table.